So I'm going to show you um, a simple little bit of CSS that you can use to customize your buttons um, and style them in some unique ways. So we're going to go to design and then custom CSS. And then what you're going to do is, an, and I'm going to give you this code. You can also find it by doing, by clicking on a button and doing right click, right click <laughs> or control click, and then click inspect and find the block ID, which I've talked about in some of the other um, tutorials. But what we're going to do is basically we're going to edit these buttons. So Squarespace has a couple of, has three different size buttons. So one is small, one is medium, and one is large. So right here I have the code for the small one. If you wanted to make this for your medium button, you would literally just change that to medium. So I think I'm going to do it for small. I think that's what these are over here. Um, and I'll show you a couple things you can do. So um, one of the things that you can do is you could change the background color. Now this is kind of, you know, you can do this in the style editor. So it's not really necessary. But if you wanted to do it custom code, you could do background color and change to, let's say, I'm going to change it to pink, for example. Um, I'm going to change this until I figure out what button that is. Yeah, cool. Okay. So now you'll see that it's pink. Um, one of the other things you could do is you can change the, the border radius is what it's called. And that kind of allows you to turn it into um, closer to a circle or that pill shaped button. So for example, so border radius of 200 pixels. And you can totally play around with this, just make it whatever you want it to be. The higher the pixels go, the rounder it is. And it's still, it's not gonna round all the way if you have a lot of text here. So just keep that in mind. The less text you have, the, the rounder it will be. So I'm gonna keep it at, maybe I'll do like, let's see, maybe I'll do like 50 pixels here. And then whenever we hover, um, Let's see if we were to add our hover, which is basically the same thing as this, except you do colon hover. And I'm just gonna copy my border radius over and maybe I want my border radius to change um, so that whenever I hover over it, it, it kind of, oops, not 20, how about 200? Whenever I hover over it, it's gonna slide out. Um, the other thing you can do is you could change the border itself. Um, so you could do, Border, and then this has three parts. So first, you're going to say how, how thick of a border you want it to be. So let's start with two pixels, space, and then I'm gonna keep it a solid border. And then I'll just decide what color I want the border to be. So I think I'm just gonna make it black, just to sort of show you what that looks like. So now we have this nice black border. You can make the border really huge if you wanna do that, etc. cetera. Um, totally up to you. Alternatively, if you wanted to do the hover where maybe we wanted it to, let's say we wanted it to hover and we wanted it to remove the pink. So I'm gonna remove the border radius and do my border, it's black, and then I'm gonna do my background color, background color as white. And that way whenever I hover over it, you'll see that it changes to white. Now then we'd probably wanna change our text color so the way to do that is color, colon, and then maybe we'll just make it black, right? So now when I hover over it, it changes like that. So that's one thing you could totally do, which I think is kind of nice and unique, just a little bit more stylized. And then one last thing that you can do is you can change the width of the boxes, um, or, or the buttons rather. So if you literally just do width, um, you could make it so that, let's say, we want it to be like 75%. So 75% of the content block. So that makes them a little bit wider. It depends on kind of what your content block looks like. Um, if it's something that goes across the whole page, then it would go across the whole page if you do like 100%, for example. So you can kind of play around with all of this stuff and just style up your buttons.